Hello and welcome to this video. This is an historic metronome number reconstruction video in which I take one piece from Bird Mueller's Opus 100 and I put it to the test and test out um, the double beat tempo theory proposed by Wim Winters and his followers. Uh, so uh, no, I'm on number seven here in this video, which is uh, the limpid stream. It is marked at 176 per quarter note. Quarter note. Now, according to the double beat theorists, my understanding is that uh, the, that tempo was always too fast for a real performance, so it was always slowed down to half speed. So that what they would do is they would put it on the desired, desired metronome speed, 176, and instead of the quarter note being 176, the eighth note would be 176. So in other words, you get two of these ticks for every quarter note. Here's the problem in this piece. In, in the limpid stream, there's triplets. It, it's constant triplets. There are eighth note triplets, three notes that fill a quarter note. That means in order to play two of these, you, you have to play three against two. That, that's almost impossible for most intermediate level pianos. So it would be something like So if, if you left it on 176, it would be like that. But no, no intermediate level pianos will be able to do that a two against three, as I just did. I mean, I'm an expert on polyrhythm, so I can do it, but no one can do that. That, that. That's a problem. That's a huge problem because now they have to take 176 and do a calculation in their head. And they have to think, oh, what's half of 176? And they have to figure that out. And then they have to put it down to what, what is 88. So th this doesn't make any sense. The, the double beat theory does make some sense in common time pieces, pieces in 4-4, four, 2-4 four, four with 8th notes, 16th notes, 32nd notes. It, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any practical sense when you have triplets, like on number 7. So that, that's a red flag right there. That's enough to almost invalidate the theory. But just to play devil's advocate, I'll go along and I'll put 88 on. I'll assume that the double beat theorists are correct and I'll play the piece at this speed and I'll offer you my thoughts on what I think about it. Okay, I stayed with it a little under speed, but it was close. Okay, here are my thoughts. 88 beats per quarter note. Well, <laughs> I told you my thoughts about the ridiculousness of having to play two against three. So if they put it on 176, they have to play, uh, an, in essence, a two against three, which is almost impossible for pianists. So that invalidates the theory right there. But I'm just going to go along and, and forget about that for now. This is marked Allegro Vivace. Allegro Vivace. That is not an Allegro Vivace. This is a practice speed. It's a beautiful speed. It's a beautiful 
performance of it that I did. It sounds nice. If a Martian came down to Earth and heard me play it that way, they'd think, oh, that's beautiful music, that's beautiful music. Yes, it's beautiful music, but is it Allegro Vivace? No, it's not. It's way under speed. That's a practice speed. It shouldn't be two times the speed. I mean, if not, if you do a single beat, let me do 176. I'm gonna do 176 per quarter note, and I'll show you. I, mean, I, I can barely even do it. It's difficult to get the notes. So doing it up to speed is not right either. So full speed is wrong. Half speed is wrong. So it's somewhere in between. What about something like this? Let me just, uh, I'm not going to tell you what the speed is, but I'm going to pick a speed here. And I want you to tell me what you think about the speed. speed sounds like a stream it is pretty fast in context with Bergmuller's studies that I think would be more like an Allegro Vivace it's not too fast but it's fast enough to be an Allegro Vivace and it's fast enough to challenge the player if they're trying to achieve a, a speed it's kind of like doing a gig by Bach now that was 112 112 doubled is 224. 224. So let's say hypothetically Bergmuller wanted that at 112. There would have been no way for him to indicate that if he's using the double beat theory because of the limitations of the metronome. The metronomes only go to, to up to 208. So how does he indicate 224? He can't. So the only choice he has is to pick a slower speed, slower than 200, which he did here. In this case, it's 176. So what I'm trying to say is it, this very likely could be deliberately a practice speed set by Bergmuller or whoever uh, indicated this speed. Not, not, this isn't an ideal performance speed. This is a practice speed for students. So th this, this speed here, practice speed. The reason is because Bergmuller, or whoever wrote these, was limited by the numbers on this mechanical device that only go up to 208. Stay tuned for the next video and I will be on number eight, Grace.